Hello, this is question number 50 from the end of the chapter 6 of Walker Physics 4th edition. And we have buckets and a pulley. So it looks like we have, if you remember, we did one the other day like this. It's called an Atwood machine where you have a pulley and then you have two weights, one of them a little bit bigger than the other and then it starts slowly if one's just a little bit bigger than uh, weighs more then this slowly moves down so it's not like dropping something you do get an acceleration but it's a slow acceleration so that you can actually see it you can study it a little bit easier so they're giving this to you in newtons already so this is 120 uh, newtons and you've got um, so you're going to get a turn in this direction because it's heavier this is 63 newtons. All right, so what do we have? First question says, initially you hold on the lighter bucket to keep it from moving. What's the tension in the rope? Okay, well, remember you're going to have a weight here. That's your 63 newtons. You're going to have a tension in the line. Now, if this were, if this were equilibrium, this would not move. But since this is going to be heavier than this, this is going to accelerate up. This is going to go up and this is going to go down. So this tension has to be this weight. This weight that's pulling down is the tension pulling up. Right? So A is going to be whatever this newtons are, which is 120 newtons, which is the tension of the heavy bucket. All right, what's B say? You release the lighter bucket and the heavier one descends. What's the tension in the rope now? Okay. Well, as this is moving, this is slackening the, the, the rope. Okay, this is moving, so it's not going to stay as tight as it was because this is moving out of the way. And so it would be almost like catching a baseball and moving your hand. It reduces the amount of impact. So as this is dropping, this tension is going to slack. If both of these were falling at the same time, you'd be weightless. Right? That's exactly what weightlessness is in space. The space station is still falling, but everything is falling at the same rate. So it looks like you're, the water is floating around on the inside of the spaceship or whatever. So this is going to slacken off. And if you've ever uh, been on a roller coaster and you feel like you're you just get caught in the air where you're weightless. That's what's happening. This is dropping, and the tension in this line reduces. Okay, so how would I do that? There's a problem. I need, the only thing I ever need, the only thing I ever know is one thing. I know that F equals MA, and that I've got a net force, okay, the net force that's making this move down has an acceleration. 120 is the, is the force, I want a mass, so let's divide it by gravity. 120 divided by 9.81 equals. So the bigger mass is 12.23 kilograms. The lighter mass, 63 divided by 9.81 is 6.4. Two, I guess, kilograms, right? So this would be, I'm only interested in this, 12.23A equals some net force. I'm kind of at a pickle here. I've got two unknown. I'm going to leap, knowing that we did, an, we did an Atwood machine just the other day, and we derived, I remember this because it was so weird, we derived the acceleration for an Atwood machine and made it into a formula. And it was, let me look back. I'm going to see which number it is. This is, this is 43. This was the Atwood machine. I needed to add G, I remember. So this is acceleration equals the second mass minus the first mass. The second mass is heavier minus the first mass over their sum, times 
times gravity. That's acceleration. So since that's a formula, let's just use it as a formula. Okay, we've used it already, so we can have whatever we use. So this is M2 plus M1 multiplied by gravity. Okay, so this is 12.23 minus 6.42 over 12.23 plus 6.42 times 9.81. All right, give me a second. All right, that gives me calculator answer is three point oh five six. I'm going to go ahead and do two significant digits. I think all of the all of the these are in is in two. So let's do the acceleration as 3.1 meters per second squared. Okay. Now it's not what I wanted, but I needed it so that I could find the other thing because I had two missing things. That's why I needed acceleration. So this is going to be times 3.1. And now I can find the force that's making this go down. Okay. Because remember, this is pulling up. This is pulling up and this is pulling down. So this is not going to drop at 120. So this is going to be 12.23 times 3.1. Okay. So I get the force as 3.8. Okay. No. Oh, times nine. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Times nine point eight. No. Let me. I'm sorry. Let me do it again. Twelve point two three times three point one. Sorry, I just freaked myself out. It's thirty seven point nine one three newtons. Okay, all right, so this force is the force that's actually making this drop. 120 is the weight, so what's the tension? The tension is the weight minus the force that's making it drop. So this is going to be 120 minus this, and we get the net, or the tension in the line is 82, I say just 82 newtons. Hard one. This is hard. Didn't realize so hard. Didn't even have the picture. Thanks.